right, we got ourselves a show. Uh, why don't you uh, hop by the back and I'll take you for a ride right. and show you what 13 is all about. Fantastic. I'll be back. This is the e true Honda story. How do you use it? Is it? Yeah, then you know. Oh, I'm sure really got something. Uh, this all started with a couple of guys from Dover, you know, going for a ride on Friday the 13th. Unbelievable. And, uh, you know, you you got to you gotta figure that bikers are the most enthusiastic people in this country, you know. They take a $25,000 recreation vehicle and they ride it all over the country. I mean, there are, there's billions of dollars in these motorcycles. You know, Boot Hill Saloon, that's in Daytona. You know, these people are riding all over. I don't know what it is. I saw in the guest book at the TV 13 site sign ins from Australia, New Zealand, England, like all over the world. They're all doing it. This is a dream come true for me. This is the debut of my album. And, uh, you know, what can I say? It's just, that's the way it is. It's at 10.30 Friday morning, Friday the 13th of July. <clears throat> PD-13 Motorcycle Rally, Jeff Healy, John Kay and Stephen Wolf, <clears throat> Wally Hine, the nonprofits. 30% chance of showers. Glorious morning. So, you know, I want you to give a big hand for flashback. You know, uh, I don't even want to get into their ages or anything like that. But if they can do it, other kids can do it. So let's give them a big hand. This is world class. You you can't go. You can't get any better anywhere else in the world. Steppenwolf concert? Oh, Going to the Steppenwolf concert? When is that? Jeff Healy Steppenwolf uh, starts at around 2 o'clock, ends at 10, still got time to hit the bars. It's called Try the Patron Tequila. It's got to be the best. You know, it is the best. And uh, try a margarita, you know. Patron Tequila, the best on the market. Look at me. I'm having a good time. She's a camera hog. I feel that music is self-empowered to kids and, and to anybody. They pick up a guitar and, and you know they you know they put it down and walk away feeling really good about themselves. Right? And you know what I mean? So music is self-empowering. And, and, and you know we sort of follow a template of Joe, how much 
much you believe in music and stuff right. like that. And you know, uh, this is this is good for us to keep his name alive because he was a real believer in music. The reason that this is here in Dover is number one, we think we can make a lot of money here. Number two, no, actually, number one is that Joe is buried here. And uh, he's just up on the Blue Line Road. And uh, he's here with us today. We have Joe's mom, who will probably say a few words to you, and Joe's brother, Jan. And in our sorrow, in our loss for Joe, we decided that we had to do something, you know, to just to cover our grief. And it turned into a lot more than that. It turned into a celebration of his life and a template of his life. And we take his life and we say, Joe was a, a fantastic musician, an impresario. And we take that and we apply it in, in the walk of, you know, what we do at the Joe Show and what we do at the Musical Instrument Lending Library. So. all gentle breeze and the making of the windswept pines as the wind blows through the tree tell them how you brought things back that they know you never stole 